Grade 7 Math, number 8.2b. Geometric drawings, unique triangles, no triangle, more than one triangle. A unique triangle has no equivalent. Its dimensions or shape are like no other. Okay, so they're one of a kind. If a sum of the measures of two shorter segments of a triangle is greater than the measure of the third segment, the triangle formed is unique. All right, well, what that means is if we have three line segments and we've got a three inch one, a two inch one, and a three and a half inch one, if the two shorter ones, see, that's the longer one, three and a half, if the two shorter ones added together are more than the size of the third one, then it's unique. So because three plus two is five and it's greater than three and a half, that makes a unique triangle with those segments. Let's say one length is four inches, another one is one inch, and the last one is six and a half inches. Well, these two shorter lines added together is five, and that's not greater than six and a half. This wouldn't even make a triangle. These two lines would not meet at the top. If the sum of the measures of the two shorter segments is less than or equal to the th third segment, a triangle can't be formed. They can't meet because the angles are pushing them up. See? These two three-inch lines would be the same as six inches. It would equal six inches. And they would never meet and form a triangle because these interior angles are pushing them up so they can't meet. You can make two straight lines on top of each other. So there would be no triangle formed. They can't meet, see? The combined lengths of the two shorter segments have to be greater than the length of the third segment. This is only five, that's six and a half. These two lines are too short to meet. No matter how much you lay them down, they'll never meet. Okay. So, the second way to tell if they're unique is if the sum of the measures of two angles are less than 180 degrees. And then the triangle formed is unique. So, if the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is still smaller than 180 degrees, then you're going to have a unique triangle. So, let's take a look at this one. We've got a right triangle here. So, because it's a right triangle, we know that that's 90 degrees. See? So we have an angle, and then this side is 2 inches, and the hypotenuse is 5 inches. So we have an angle, a side, and a side. We call this hypotenuse leg. Because we have the measures of a hypotenuse, the 5 inches, and the leg, 2 inches, of a right triangle, we know the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle, and this hypotenuse is opposite the given 90 degree right angle, so we have a unique triangle. This is like angle side side, but this longer side, the hypotenuse, has to be opposite the angle given, the 90 degrees. See, so it works with a right triangle. We call it HL. We don't want to call it ASS, do we? Okay, so because we have the measures of a side 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 in this one, 3 inches, 4 inches, 4 inches, SSS is what it's called for side side side. And the two shorter lengths are greater than the third length, we have a unique triangle. So whether we add three and four and get seven, it's still greater than this, no, this four inch one. And if we add four inches and four inches, it's still greater than the three inches. See, so that's a unique triangle. All right, how about this one? Because we have the measures of a side angle side, side four inches, angle 110 degrees, side three inches, SAS, side angle side. The combined two shorter lengths, the 4-inch and the 3-inch, are longer than this third side. We know it's a unique triangle, see? You can see that these have to be longer together than this one side, right? All right. And that 110-degree angle is helping them to prove that they are longer together, okay? Now we have one called angle side angle. It's A-S-A, -A, angle side angle. And because we have the measure of an angle, a side, and an angle, and the combined known two angle measures are less than 180 degrees, we have a unique triangle, see? So we have angle 20, side four and a half inches, and angle 40, see? So the 
two angles are less than 180 degrees, so we know it's a unique angle. I'm sorry about the shaking. I have trouble holding the camera. I don't know if anyone notices, but uh, I have, I'm disabled, and so I have trouble holding the camera sometimes, and it seems to shake sometimes, so sorry about that. All right, so more than one triangle. If we draw a four-inch line segment and a 45-degree angle, so here's our four-inch line segment right here, this green one, and we draw a 45-degree angle with this dotted line right here, and it's an unknown length, okay? What we can do is we can take a compass and put the point of it right at the top. We connect the top of the four inch segment with the dotted line. We can set our compass to three inches. Here we go, to three inches. We have a four inch line. We set this guy to three inches. We put our point right there at the top. See, right here at the top. And we draw an arc like that, okay, across the dotted line. And we keep this really still. And we make a swoop and go through the dotted line once and then go through the dotted line a second time. If we connect this top to this point where it crossed on the dotted line, we're making a triangle that's got a 4-inch side, a 3-inch side, and a 45-degree angle. See that? Because this angle right here is... 45 degrees, this angle right here. But we also made another triangle that is 4 inches with a 3 inch side with a 45 degree angle. So if we ignore that red line right here, there's a big huge triangle that's got a 45 degree angle, a 4 inch side, and a 3 inch side. See? And if we go like this, we've got a 4 inch side, a 3 inch side, and a 45 degree angle. See that? So we ended up making two triangles. So sometimes they can create two triangles and you can use your trusty little compass to do it. So you just connect the top of this four inch segment with the dotted line across here and the two places where it hits are going to make these identical four inch, four inch, four inch, three inch, and 45 degree angle triangles. See? But they're different from each other, aren't they? Yeah. Both have sides of 4 inches and 3 inches and a 45 degree angle. Okay, so what's the big deal about proving if a triangle is unique? Well, farther into geometry, we're going to need to do a uh, proof and make proof tables. And we'll need to prove if a triangle is unique or congruent, which is another word for equal, to another triangle. We're going to have to prove if two triangles are equal to each other or unique to each other. Okay? That's what all this is about. That's why we're learning about these unique triangles. So we're going to continue on, and I hope this was helpful. Sorry about the shaking, and I'll see you next video. Bye.